I'll admit, I'm not happy with the default layout for this game, because it's basically super tall, with, like, no real width to it. Um, so it makes for a narrow battlefield, which, you know, is fine, you know, if you want to deal with relatively small amounts of units. I mean, we got three playable characters in this game, so a small battlefield isn't the problem, but it's so drawn out, I know this is going to look absolutely terrible when I put it on YouTube, because I'll probably have to stretch it out, or put it in the middle of the screen, and then fill up the sides with, you know distracting information or something but yeah um, our heroes are kind of screwed here Ty, what's our uh, strategy uh, die man got that right now perish bit late to retreat man well let's play I suppose where am I? I'll figure out where I am after I defeat these enemies. Quickly move in, kill the archer. Archers are super annoying, let's face it. Well, we can just end turn. Let them come to us. I mean, I can't instantly drop this one, so it's going to counterattack us. We got the health for it, it's just... I like getting the first hit in, you know? It's like Advance Wars that way. Yep, all the way on the edge, man. The edge of defeat. Then we get some bonus experience, and yeah, let's continue. Well, we want to go this way first and recruit these characters. That way you get as much bonus experience as possible for the healer. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Okay. Can I, like, please reach the archer? Late, man. Okay, I can kill the archer. Or I can snipe this dude. And with, if you use the archer, you do not want to move. You want to pick the attack target. Because if you just move and think you can fire afterwards, no, that's not how this works. It's kind of annoying, because what happens if I want to position myself, you know, somewhere the game doesn't want to put me? It's, it's, it's irritating. Finish you off. Yeah, we're going to take a hit from the archer, but let's face it, they do one point of damage. It's not a big deal. Like, yeah, I might want to move here and then fire, you know, and the game's like, no, nah, that's not how this works unless you direct me a bit more. But I want to finish you off. And someone help you if you get unlucky, man. What well, I mean by unlucky, units can potentially go, as we've seen, can fly in from the edges. And if they land on top of your unit, it messes things up because you can't move your unit. The game has no way to process that sort of uh, input, so your unit becomes useless and just basically gets picked off by other uh, allies of the enemy. Makes for a frustrating experience. They have us surrounded. We'll just fight our way out. I don't want to move there. That would put us on the bridge and vulnerable to a hit back. Honestly, I probably just hit end turn. Yeah, I put myself too close. Come on. Then we're gonna have to take a shot from the enemy going across like that, yeah. Oh, they're gonna target that dude? Why? Oh, you finally found us, huh? Well, Simon, lend me a helping hand, will you? Same thing with this dude. You gotta pick who you're gonna heal. It's, it's a bit annoying. I, I'm still used to playing Fire Emblem where you move a unit, then do an action. In this game, you gotta do both. Almost got, you know, our max up. Okay. 
take you out. I can't hit this unit. How annoying. I can take two hits, but that probably just means I'm gonna get finished off. Oh no, they, they made a bad tactical boo-boo. How they managed to screw that up so badly? Maximum experience gain, man. That way I can max as many units as possible. Okay. Yep, reflect. So you can return archer fire now for a damage point. Okay, we want to go over here. Snipe you. Unfortunately, I can't heal non-damaged units. I would love to spam healing on some of these guys sometimes, you know? Okay, just end turn. This may or may not be more convenient. I'm not sure. Okay, we're gonna have to take a hit. And Simon's just gonna have to slowly move across this bridge as well. Okay. Gosh darn it. Like, he keeps getting in the way of doing healing. Okay. Heal support, will you? Finish this dude off. And bring him up and kill that guy. Okay. Not, not perfect, but, you know, at least we'll get... Oh, we got the level up. Yeah, sweet. So we now steal health when we finish off units. Nice. Or actually, if we just damage them in general. Okay, obviously we want to smack the archer first. Okay. Okay, we can get damage on that dude. Hit you there. Just end turn. I don't really have any use for Simon the move right now. Maybe they'll be uh, clever and go after him. Um, no. What are you guys thinking? I don't get it. I really don't. Okay. Just heal you one. Steal some life. Let Simon fall. It's not needed for the rest of this battle. This dude's got a knife. Yeah, I really don't like how you gotta move the archer around, man. It's annoying. This would be so much easier if you could just move and then attack, you know? And I love how we still get experience even though we died. <laughs> like, you still get some group experience, but I died, like, doesn't matter. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, the bridge of the fortress. It's all it stands between us and soul. Alright, what have we here? Toddy, you've returned! Aye, to put an end to this. Alas, poor last words. Well, we can move up, shoot this dude. Obviously, we're gonna try and take uh, the north here. Using the bridge to our advantage. Then we can have you swing out and kill this archer. 
I have no idea what it means by a damage square there. What, what would I damage and how? Okay, we want to heal you. Okay, finish this guy off. This guy does uh, two damage, unlike everyone else. Okay, I can swing and hurt this guy down to one. We'd be sacrificing a unit. Okay. Lock the healer in. That way the archer can get the final blow. Yes, I know. The spirit of self-sacrifice. Okay, not enough to get the healer up to the max level, unfortunately. I have no idea what his bonus power is. Okay, we got one more map to try. Take a point of damage, you know, and it is what it is. Okay. Okay, let's just finish this dude off. Okay, they're just gonna have to exchange blows. Simon here doesn't have anything he can do right now. Okay, I'll move you back. Gil experience for healing. Fall back and a life point. Okay, heal you. Move you back down. Deal with this last threat. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's going to be short. Yeah. Take a hit. And battle's over. And that should be enough to put the healer up to max. Especially since we didn't die this time. Okay. Oh, so now we can deal fire blasts and deal three damage, huh? Simon can finally do something offensive? Well, no. Okay, show yourself. Toddy, back again? I thought you were dead. Not yet, on guard. This is it, our second chance. We're strong now, let's give it our all. Okay. Put you there to help block him. Yep, healing support, but it's fine. Um. Right there, I suppose. They're advancing closer. Bring out all reinforcements. Okay. Let them come down further. Okay, take you out. And turn. Oh, you fast as you could, huh? Well, take you out instantly. Have you do that. Go after the boss here. It's fine. Boom. Down he goes. Probably a bit excessive considering I could have instantly dropped with a fire blast, but it's fine. Yep, victory, all right. And that's it. That's the end of the game. 
short and simple. Like I said, the biggest worry is if, if you're playing that final battle the first time, you put yourself on the edge where Francois comes in, because he will absolutely trap your unit that he lands on top of. And since I knew he was going to pop up there, I'm like, I'm not making that mistake a second time. Admittedly, if you lose a battle, you're just forced to retreat and reload, so it's not like it, it's like game over and you have to restart from the beginning if you mess up. You'll just have to replay that battle. Does it ever go back to the title screen? Where we get our prologue for everything, where we learn our uh, heroes apparently should have died, but somehow lived anyway. Eh, uh, doesn't look like it. Whatever. Till next time, then. See ya.